Hi everyone and welcome to a theme park worldwide news update. Disneyland Paris is the largest theme park resort in the whole of Europe, featuring two theme parks and along with that various different hotels, entertainment options and so much more. Now just a few days ago on April the 12th, it was the resort's 32nd birthday, meaning that it was time to share lots more updates and announcements on various different projects currently happening at the resort. Now for a few years now, Disneyland Paris has been been undergoing a major transformation, especially the Walt Disney Studios Park, which is the second gate at Disneyland Paris that opened back in 2002. Now in this video, I'm going to go through all of the news from the announcements made just a few days ago, including a brand new name for that second gate park at the resort, and also too, lots more announcements, not just about what's happening in Walt Disney Studios, but also some other things around the resort as well. But firstly, onto that main news itself. Walt Disney Studios opened back in 2002, 10 years after the resort originally opened in 1992, and it was the second theme park to be built at Disneyland Paris, all themed around going behind the scenes at the movies. And of course, when it opened, it was a very small park, and in comparison to a lot of other Disney parks around the world, it is still tiny compared to those. However, over the years, it has developed more. We see some great attractions come in, like the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, Crush's Coaster, Ratatouille, and so much more. And most recently, as part of the transformation, we saw Avengers Campus open a few years ago. Now, also for the past few years, they've been building a brand new lake and frozen area as well. And I've got some more information to share on that a little bit later on. Now, as part of this whole project, we've now actually seen the resorts confirm that Walt Disney Studios will have a new name, and it's going to be known as Disney Adventure World. Now, this is certainly a very different name than what many people are expecting, myself included, uh, but Disney Adventure World is the official name for Walt Disney Studios um, when World of Frozen opens. And of course, we don't have an exact date for that yet. Many people suggest it's going to be at some point next year. Hopefully so. I really don't want that to run into 2020. It's been under construction for a few years now. Uh, it was already supposed to be open originally. And uh, yes, hopefully that's going to be ready for next year, 2025. And uh, Disney Adventure World will then be the official name for Walt Disney Studios Park. And I'll kind of come on to why the name change in just a moment, because that all kind of pans out with all the news that has been announced by Disneyland Paris a few days ago. Uh, but my thoughts on the name, very different to what I was expecting. However, I can certainly understand uh, why they wanted to change the name of the park, especially with some of the removals over the past few years, uh, kind of coming away from that studio's feel and going behind the scenes um, to more different properties all put together. Um, so with Disney Adventure World, you are stepping into this park and kind of going directly in to these various different Disney movies. So I can understand the change. Is it the name that I would have gone for? Probably not. It does sound a little bit generic. However, I think we're all going to get used to it. I do think the logo looks quite nice there as well, quite magical. And uh, it is going to take some time, isn't it? just to say, oh, you know, should we just go next door to the studios? That's what we say anyway. And uh, I'm sure many of you do as well. So let me know your thoughts on the new name down below in the video comments. And of course, any merchandise that you've got now where it says Walt Disney Studios Park on, uh, well, it's going to be very rare, isn't it? Uh, when the name changes, which is most likely going to be next year. Now, with this, we're also seeing lots of other changes throughout the park. The biggest addition is World of Frozen. The new Frozen Land being built right at the back of Walt Disney Studios Park. And uh, we're looking forward to this very much. You've seen lots of visuals over the past couple of years. There's been some updated concept art and also some photos from inside the land as well. Uh, you can see just how colorful it is, all the building facades coming together nicely, and also the standout attraction, um, which is going to be, of course, in the area. And that is is Frozen Ever After. Already operating at Epcot in Walt Disney World and also at Hong Kong Disneyland as well. And uh, Hong Kong features the full land um, and also has a roller coaster there as well, which does look fantastic. Unfortunately, we're not getting the family coaster in Paris, at least not yet. I mean, that could maybe come as a future expansion. You never know. There's certainly space around the lake. Um, but yes, we're not getting the coaster, but we are getting the dark ride. It actually looks a lot more um, themed and detailed than the version 
version in Epcot. As much as it follows the same storyline, um, you know, it looks like a lot more, more detail, lots more to see, an updated ride system, better capacity on there as well. Uh, and of course, uh, proper audio animatronics, as I would say, and not those ones where you've got the, uh, the screen kind of uh, pro projection in the back. Uh, these will be the full on uh, proper animatronics, much like we've seen in Hong Kong when that opened recently, just a few months ago. And uh, we're looking forward to actually checking out World of Frozen at Hong Kong. Um, of course, part of our Asia trip, full details coming up. Uh, we're visiting every Disney theme park across the whole world this year on Theme Park Worldwide. We've already done Walt Disney World and we've got a big Asia trip coming up in June and we've got more details on that on the way very, very soon. So if you like Disney, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel. We've got loads of that coming up throughout the year. Uh, now, of course, along with World of Frozen, uh, we've seen all these other transformations um, around the center of the park and uh, also the main entrance itself to go with the new name for Walt Disney Studios. Now, we said that it's going to be called Disney Adventure World. Uh, let's kind of go into that now and the, the change that we're going to see at the entrance to the park. Now, Studio One, um, as it's currently known, is the main entrance. You walk in and it's like a Hollywood kind of street, which is built um, inside of this big building, and mainly because of the climate. Um, in Paris. They thought, let's put it all indoors. And it's quite a nice space in there. You know, I've had many happy times just in there, enjoying the atmosphere. Uh, but then you start looking in detail at the theming in there. It was very flat. It was very 2D. Um, a lot of the facades weren't really proper ones. There were some like cardboard cutouts and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it felt like it was done very cheaply. And of course, Walt Disney Studios was uh, done on a very, very strict budget when it opened back in 2002. Now, Disneyland Paris is going to be addressing this. Studio One is closing in just a few weeks' time. It'll be shut for around a year for a major transformation, and it will become um, World Premiere. Now, this is going to be the area where you still walk in, and you're still going to see um, some kind of parts that are in there now, but it's been completely updated, some proper facades, and they're getting rid of that kind of behind-the-scenes set look. Um, of course, it was a set, you know, you were kind of going in, seeing all the lighting, and behind the scenes of the movies, like the whole part was when it opened. That's moving away and uh, we're seeing this with world premiere now um, you're also going to see uh, lots more updated theming in there the restaurant which is on the right hand side uh, of what is studio one at the moment uh, that's also going to be getting a new name as well and that's going to become in the hollywood gardens looks quite nice with all the trellis and a little roof on there with all the lighting and then down at the the main kind of the front section um, you're going to have this big sign now and you're actually going to be stepping into the movies so it's still a movie based park but instead of going behind the scenes, movie production, creation, you're now actually stepping directly into those. And we've seen this happen at Disney's Hollywood Studios um, over in Florida at Walt Disney World, kind of moving away from that behind the scenes aspect and now putting you as the visitor directly into the movies themselves. So, um, you know, I do really like the look of what they're doing here. I've always quite enjoyed that indoor space. Um, yeah, there was parts that were a little bit tacky and, you know, I wasn't too keen on. But in general, it was a nice space. So I'm glad they're keeping it and having that style vibe. Personally, I'm glad they're not completely demolishing the whole thing and having a normal street because I like how different it is. You know, I don't want another clone of Hollywood Studios. It's nice to just have different things at the different Disney parks. At the end of the day, that's what makes it fun trying all the different Disney parks around the world. Um, so I'm really liking what they're doing with the world premiere. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what that looks like um, next year. Now, when you come out of there, uh, you're going to be greeted uh, with the World Premiere Plaza, uh, which is the kind of the central street, if you like, where as soon as you come out uh, into the main part of the park, you've got the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror just over there, Animation Celebration, and uh, a couple of the theatres all along that main street as well. And then it kind of leads down towards Marvel, uh, and then you're going to go straight on down towards the lake, which is another area I'll mention in just a moment. Um, but this exact area, as soon as you come out um, of World Premiere, uh, will be the World Premier Plaza, and uh, the Hollywood theme is going to continue. They're keeping them nice buildings at the front. I've always liked that kind of view when you come out and see Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, uh, and also with the buildings. Now, the partner statue um, that was there, that is going to be coming back. They're actually turning it round so it'll face into the park instead of away from the park, and the doors are kind of going to be on the side now, and you'll come round and get this grand reveal um, into the park. So the Hollywood theme is staying. Mostly here, it's cosmetic upgrades, new flooring, new planting, uh, 
a hell of a lot more trees uh, than there is at the moment to make it a much nicer green space. And uh, they're keeping that iconic view of Tower of Terror there, which I'm really pleased about. We uh, heard of no changes coming to that ride, which I am really happy about. As much as Guardians is a fun ride, um, of course, over at Disney California Adventure, I really want to keep the, uh, the Tower of Terror in Paris. It's a brilliant ride and the story is the best on there now with the creepy girl and the drop sequences. It's amazing, it really is, and I'm glad that's sticking around and that kind of Hollywood feel. It'll be nice, really, because you've got the Hollywood streets, um, and you step into the cinema, and then the Hollywood feel continues outside with the World Premier Plaza. So looking forward to seeing that, even though it's mostly just cosmetic upgrades uh, around there. But uh, more greenery, definitely happy about that. On to the next area then now, and that's as soon as you're going to walk down towards the new lake, and that is going to be known as Adventure Way. Now, this is going to be really nicely landscaped. Looks like quite a large pathway. You're going to have trees. Looks like there's going to be twinkling lights in there. Um, you'll see Tower of Terror off to the left. There'll be a new pathway that leads round into Toy Story Playland, and you'll be able to continue down towards the lake itself. There's going to be a little pagoda there. There's going to be some meet and greets. I'm sure that's an area that will continue to evolve, and they could do events there. They could even do a parade again at some point in the future. This is a wide pathway. It's certainly be designed for multiple different uses in the long term. Uh, maybe more food festivals. We could see something a bit like uh, Epcot Food and Wine Festival down there uh, and around parts of the lake itself. I feel like that's what all this has been designed for. So you know, it looks like quite a large space without any attractions initially, but I think they've got bigger plans for that in terms of events and just making it feel like a nice park. I mean, Walt Disney Studios, out of the 12 Disney parks around the world, you know, I have been to them all. I'm lucky enough to have seen them all and it is the weakest park. So I'm hoping that this helps to bring it up again. And you never know, it might not even be down there at the bottom uh, after all this transformation is complete. Uh, now, as soon as you make your way around uh, Adventure Way, you're always going to be greeted by a new attraction themed around Tangled. And I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be on the right hand side of Adventure Way, uh, just off from the lake itself. And uh, Rapunzel Tangled Spin um, looks like it's going to be a really nice attraction. Beautiful concept art that we can see here. Uh, I mean, look at this. You've got the lanterns, you've got the murals on the ceiling, you've got all the lighting as well. And the actual ride system looks like a spinning cups ride, but instead of sitting in a teacup, you're going to be on a boat. So imagine like Mad Hatter's Tea Party, but you're going to be sat on a boat, uh, kind of similar um, to Sirocco at Efteling in the Netherlands. Looks very similar to that. I mean, we've not got the exact details on the ride system. But initially, from looking at the concept art, it does look very similar to that attraction. So uh, maybe we're going to be seeing that exact style ride. Uh, but of course, we've not got that exact confirmation yet. But still, this looks nice. Uh, I love Tangled. It's nice to see it getting represented more in a Disney park because you don't really have much of it out there. Um, so this will be really nice. Looks like a nice spin and attraction. Something in addition um, all around the lake there as well. And of course, this lake, um, they've put it in right in the center. You've got so much expansion room around the side. But uh, I'll come on to a few rooms about that at the end of the video so uh, stay tuned uh, you've walked all the way down then adventure way and then you're going to make your way to adventure bay and uh, that is going to be the name for the lake. We've been calling it the Studio Lake for years since it first got announced. Uh, but yeah, this will take some getting used to. Adventure Bay, and uh, this is expected to be for nighttime shows, possible fountain shows, maybe our own version of Fantasmic on there, you never know. Uh, but that'd be beautiful to see. And uh, with the design of this, it's a massive lake, and around there, you've got like tiered viewing, it seems. There's gonna be seating, there's gonna be all rocks around, there's gonna be landscaping, some lovely lighting. I'm sure it'll just have a really nice atmosphere to sit around and to soak it all in. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, just round from the Rapunzel Tangled Spin Attraction, you've also got the Regal View Restaurant. This looks stunning from the concept art that we've seen. This will be a brand new restaurant and lounge area and it's got all the lights on. And I've noticed that with all the buildings around the lake, um, they've got all the lights on. It's going to look so pretty at night and you'll get that kind of reflection in the water. You'll see World of Frozen and Arendelle on the other side of the lake. Uh, I think it's going to be gorgeous and it's going to be a really nice space to be. As much as it's not going to be on quite the grand spectacular scale as World Showcase in Epcot at Walt Disney World, imagine that but on a bit of a smaller scale. It's going to be lovely just standing around there, um, looking out at World of Frozen on that side. Uh, and if you're looking the other way, you're going to get great views of the park um, in that direction that you've, we've never seen before. Uh, and also as well, looking towards um, the other attractions and that really nice restaurant, Tangled Spin. Uh, it's just going to all come together really nice. I can see it now. There's been some brilliant uh, updates that people have been sharing and uh, I'm 
so excited to hopefully step um, into this part of the park um, next year. Uh, now, of course, there are all the changes coming to Walt Disney Studios Park at the moment. Uh, but of course, the biggest one there is the name change. We'll still be referring to it as Walt Disney Studios for now uh, because that is still the name, but we do know it is changing to Disney Adventure World. New details on the attractions coming in. And overall, this looks very positive. I know there's been some negativity about lack of attractions around the lake. Don't worry, I think it's going to come one step at a time. Um, this is opening up a massive piece of infrastructure. As much as we're not seeing loads of rides around the lake initially, building something like this costs a fortune. It's the lake, it's the pathways, it's the infrastructure, um, it's the plumbing, it's the electrics, it's all that what costs a lot of money underneath the ground. Um, so they're putting this expansion into the back of the park and you're going to have all this space ready to go. And I'm sure they'll be starting construction on something else around there um, very soon too, with hopefully some more details coming this summer at D23, but I'll talk about some rumors right at the end of the video. A few more bits though that have been confirmed now by Disney. Uh, Disney Village, now this is undergoing a multi-year transformation. This is a free to enter area if you've never been before, uh, outside of the two theme parks. It connects the parks, the train station, the car parking and the hotels all together with various different dining, restaurants, cinema, shows. And uh, it's been undergoing a transformation for quite a while now. I've not seen any of that completed yet because we've not been for quite some time, uh, but we're gonna be visiting again soon and look forward to seeing the transformation undergoing. And by the end of the year, uh, everything I'm speaking about now um, is supposed to be done. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with that one. Um, this multi-year transformation, updated pathways, green space, gardens in the middle. You can also see the recycling, the Gardens of Wonder from the 30th anniversary of the resort. Looks like they're gonna be spread around throughout this and possibly around parts of um, Lake Disney as well, which is quite a nice little feature. They look good in the park, so I think it's nice that they're keeping them and it gives it a bit of a Disney touch, you know, like um, I would be a bit worried that, you know, it's gonna lose a bit of that Disney feel uh, with the buildings and that sort of thing. I like the fact they're modernizing it, but keeping it a bit Disney there as well. At the end of the day, you're still in a Disney park experience. You want it to be, um, you know, that beautiful kind of um, experience as you walk in round. And you've got the two theme parks. It's this attraction in itself. You're still in the resorts, the wider resorts, and it still wants to have that magical feel. Uh, now, along with that, you're gonna have a new shop, Disney Wonders. That's replacing the classic Disney store. Big good that we're gonna lose all that theming from inside because there was a lot of nice classic theming. Uh, but you know what? Um, the modernizing the whole of the village and it was expected that we were gonna see a lot of that go, wasn't it? But uh, yeah, it's a shame to see some of that classic theming go. Uh, along with that, there's gonna be an updated sports bar. Looks a bit more modern, a lounge style in there instead of like a traditional pub. Two smaller shops are gonna to combine together and to create one larger shop. And uh, also there's gonna be some updates to the other facades. Um, you've got a, a new kind of facade going on the Lego store with a mural, that looks great. And also another smaller shop that's getting some updates there as well. Uh, now along with that, um, Disney Village of course, we've got the whole other side that's gonna be redeveloped yet. So looking forward to seeing what happens with the old Planet Hollywood. It's a big space, always up for more dining, more entertainment options. Let's see what happens with that one. And of course, uh, no real time scale for this, it's just ongoing um, at the moment. But a lot of that that we spoke about, they're expecting to be done in the next year or so, which is really exciting. On to the last couple of bits of confirmed news then from Disneyland Paris. The Disney Davy Crockett Ranch is gonna be having a refurbishment. The bungalows are gonna be replaced and I've never actually stayed there. Uh, I've stayed everywhere at Disneyland Paris other than the Disneyland Hotel and David Crockett Ranch. So we need to stay down there at some point in the future. Obviously it's not actually directly in the resort. It's about a 10 minute drive, um, but you know what? I'd like to go and stay there at some point in the future. It looks really nice. I love the theme and that's actually set to be updated as well um, with the junior woodchuck having a bit of a theme input with this uh, regeneration project for Disney Davy Crockett Ranch. So I do look forward um, to seeing that in the future. Good to see all this investment in the resort. Finally, new entertainment options are coming um, to Avengers Campus, the Marvel area in Walt Disney Studios. And of course, there's also gonna be the new uh, Alice in Wonderland theme show. This sounds interesting. There's gonna be BMX stunt riders, and I'm not too sure how this is gonna go. I feel like it's gonna be really good or really bad, but I guess we'll find out um, from the 25th of May. So a few weeks to go until this launches. Alice and the Queen of Hearts, Back to Wonderland is the name of the show. 
And this is actually being held in the former location of uh, Motors Action, stunt show spectacular. Love that show. Uh, but of course, it was all about movie production. The parts moved away from that now and they're putting you in the movies. Uh, with this show, the set design looks massive. I mean, they've kept the kind of buildings that were there before from Motors Action and built a new stage a bit closer to the stadium seating. Um, and it looks like it's going to be really good from what we can see with the scale of this. Um, but of course, what's the music going to be like? The costumes look quite interesting. Uh, I'm intrigued with this one and to see what it's going to be like. Uh, I don't see this sticking around for a long time, uh, but of course they've spent quite a lot of money on the stage area, so clearly it's going to be here for quite a while, maybe until they can think of a more permanent solution um, to be in that venue at some point in the future. Uh, well, there we go. That's all the confirmed news from Disneyland Paris from April the 12th, just a few days ago. Very exciting. Let me know your thoughts on all of this down below in the video comments. I'm a huge Disney Parks fan. Disneyland Paris being our closest Disney resort here to base. We do love going. We'll be going again very soon. And uh, I'm really excited for all of these projects. Yeah, some really ones that uh, I think, you know, sound fantastic. Some that I'm unsure on. Uh, but you know what? It's good to see constant investment coming in. And with the Universal UK projects potentially uh, going underway soon, uh, then of course, it's a reason for Disney to really start stepping up investments. Um, because, you know, we're here in the UK. Universal's coming. Um, Disney and France, they're not that far away from each other. So, if that potential Universal project gets underway in the UK, Disney are going to have to step up the game. And um, if you're wondering what I'm going on about there, check out our previous video um, with this one from yesterday because you'll be able to find out more information about the proposed Universal Park here in the UK. Now, just before I wrap up this video, uh, an exciting news update. Just want to uh, just talk a few about a few rumours. Uh, supposedly, we could be seeing a Lion King land come to Walt Disney Studios Park. So that's quite interesting. Uh, potentially on the left hand side, uh, maybe where the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge area was planned to go. There's also all sorts of rumours about Disneyland Park that's not had an attraction for many years. Um, potentially, we could be seeing Hyperspace Mountain uh, go away and have a brand new theme, or at least reverting back to the original Jules Verne in style theme. I loved that. And there was a little nod actually at this presentation a few days ago. The old soundtrack was played by an orchestra and it was beautiful to listen to. So I'm really hoping we see that attraction um, returning to its former glory, or if not, like a Mission 3 or something different. But going back to that original Jules Verne style, the fact that a few years ago when they updated the trains, they went for that kind of steampunk look on there uh, to fit with the rest of the building really gives me hope for that at some point in the future. So there's just a couple of rumours in there. But of course, lots of facts, lots of information and millions of millions of euros of investments going into Disneyland Paris over the next few years. And fingers crossed, next year, 2025, we're going to be able to step in. The park's going to be renamed, of course, to Disney Adventure World. We'll see all these changes at the entrance to the park and then we'll be able to make our way down to the lake and enjoy World of Frozen and the new lake area, the restaurant, the tangled attraction, the new meet and greets, the new spaces just to relax and enjoy at Disneyland Paris. But uh, I'm Sean Sandbrook. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy our videos, make sure you give them a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for many more updates. And that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. We'll see you very soon.